Michael Vaughan, who despite the rumours that it might seem early on, decided to bat first. It must have been tempted, mind you, to have a bowl after picking this side. Hoggard out, well we knew about that. And Anderson was dropped. That may have raised a few eyebrows. So Harmison was recalled and Stuart Broad was given his first chance, which meant that the Broads became the 12th father and son combo to play for England. We'll let you know the other 11 pairs in the verdict. Uh, as for the Sri Lankan side, well, there was that one enforced change that the retired Jaya Saria, who incidentally went straight to the commentary box, we'll hear from him a little later on, was replaced by Upal Tharanga. And the first runs off the bat. A couple for Alistair Cook. That's four. That will run away. Quick outfield here. Beautiful shot. No need to run for that. That's four from the moment that left the bat. Very rare half volley. Punch him into that. Michael Vaughan makes the most of it. Now this is going to be tight, it's a direct hit and it's going to be overthrows as well, it may well be four overthrows, I think it is. And it's slowing up but it will get to the boundary, so Michael Vaughan will get five for his troubles, quick single. And the ball was there to hit by Michael Vaughan and the timing and the balance is exquisite. A difficult shot to play, particularly early on, early on in your innings. Well, a wayward start. Michael Vaughan pounces on a leg side delivery, and as if Malinga does very well down at long leg. Saves a couple of runs. Brilliant shot to extra cover. Shot. He's just showing that Michael Vaughan is really looking comfortable at the crease with his own game. And some lovely shots down the ground. Shot. Excellent shot. This time Alistair Cook joins in. His first boundary of the day. Another doozer, I think, and picked very early by Michael Vaughan. Great use of the crease, got back and used the depth. And also, pretty good effort, I think, Jahan Muberek. Or is it Michael Vandor? I think it's Michael Vandor. Oh, did that carry. Chain and edge, went at a good height when it left the bat. We'll have to see. Nice timing on that one. Might get at least three for this. Pull Taranga is the fielder. Will bring up the 50 for England. 18 over. And there's no stopping that either. That's hammered away. Terrific shot. Bit of wit. And it's gone quickly down to finally for another boundary. Poor delivery from Dilhara Fernando, but a good shot to get to his 50. 50 of 75 balls. Captain Lee. There we go. Terrific shot. He's just looking better and better now. Michael Vaughan. Danger. Shot off the back foot and not such good fielding from Dilhara Fernando. So all things going Michael Vaughan's way at the moment. Well, that was beautifully picked up. Not that short in the end, but Alistair Cook pounced on it. He right now himself and his team. <laughs> Another exquisite shot. That had no right to go through there. Not a bad ball at all. Michael Vaughan really does look in great touch. Whoa, what a shot. We've seen that a few times this morning by Michael Vaughan, and we see it once more. Just uh, having enough legs to get to the boundary. But uh... 
Sanchez and a pinch singer off the last ball of the over. And that brings up the 100 for England. The 100 without loss. Short, no ball as well, and pulled away. And that's going to go all the way. So, wants to cook. <laughs> that's a pretty wild delivery. That's uh, given uh, Sanajah Warden a no chance. And it goes against him, it goes as buys. I always think that should be wide. It's gone through. Chenyan is trying to drive through the covers. So yes, uh, and that doesn't really matter where he bowls that. Not a bad delivery on this occasion, but Michael Vaughan is in such form. Maybe he just dispatches it. He's all in form, but he's also gone for a few more runs. And he's gone for more here too. Michael Vaughan getting back in the crease. It was slow, it was short and dealt with. Top of the bounce to hit it for a four. Oh, oh, he's gone. Yes, free cricket here for Sri Lanka. Michael Wall has hit that straight into the fielder at forward short leg, who's managed to, I think, clasp it in between his thighs. Jaha Mubarak is the fielder. Well, would you believe it? And certainly, Michael Vaughan cannot. 87, he has to walk off. Have a look at this. Struck it very firmly. Yes, he struck it straight into the man Mubarak at short leg. Who doesn't have a clue where it is. And there it is. You just cannot believe that it hasn't dropped to the ground, and neither can anyone else around the ground. Michael Vaughan has to go. He goes for 87. England now lose their first wicket for 133. Oh, that's a, a fantastic shot. I think it's going to go all the way. Great effort and in the end, but Mr. Cook threading the gap through extra cover and point. Hammerson. Oh, a little bit of luck. It's edged away. There's only one slip for the new batsman. Okay. Brings the 150 up for England. Good call by Alimdar. Ow! This time this was an edge. And it's got in that same direction as the last ball. And uh, this time, raises bat to a 50. A seven test match 50. Alim Big appeal and gone. My Ian Bell walks off. May have been slightly fortunate to dismiss Michael Vaughan caught short leg, but on this occasion, I don't know if it's bad or glove, but Ian Bell very quick to walk off. Well, it's a good catch, first of all. Vaughan might have had some luck in the first dismissal, but that is a top, top catch at short leg. Excellent catch. Time Ruthren has picked up his second wicket. Ian Bell is on his way back. He's gone for 15. It's 168. That's nicely timed. Through the mid wicket area. Nicely timed and nicely picked. I think it was the Dusra. 171. Well, there's a brilliant, brilliant catch. A fantastic bit of cricket. Kevin Peterson is standing. I'm not sure he's totally convinced that carried. But the Sri Lankan fielders, I can tell you, are totally happy with that. And the umpires are just having a little word. I don't quite know what's going to be the outcome of this. Well, in real time, for me, it looked an excellent catch. Very low to the ground. The umpires have to decide. And they've made the decision. So Kevin Peterson has gone for just one. Sri Lanka, in a space of a couple of overs, are back in this game. Let's have a look at this. They are indeed, and it's a plan. You can see they've got a couple of slips in place. It's fed the short, sorry, the full wide ball, and Kevin Peterson has gone for it. Now, let's just have another look at that. It's bopped out of his hand again, but I can't see whether he's caught it. It's just whether, initially, whether that just might have grasped on the ground as he tried to catch it. 
I think it went in to start with. Well, Kevin Peterson's not happy. He's actually walking back. I'm not, I'm not sure he can do this. The umpire has already given him out. I think Kevin Peterson's going to have to continue to walk off. There's a lot of boos around the round here. The England fans are just not happy. Not see. Well, there. It's almost hands pointing down on top of the ball. Doesn't look as if there's a finger underneath there, does that? I'd say it's impossible to get a finger under there. That's gone for four. Rare short ball. Mr. Cook puts it away. In place. Excellent shot from Alistair Cook. And Lassif Malinga does good work on the deep cover boundary. Mr. Cook gets three more. And he moves on now to. Good shot. Should get four for this. Just straying onto the pads of Alistair Cook, who has timed this beautifully on the onside. He's played that well. Sensible cricket. Plenty of time to pick that gap. He, he just tried hard to be there in the middle. Driven smartly through the covers. Third man might just get around that one. Chaminda Vaas is the fielder. Three more to England. Brings up the 200. Yeah, just offline that one that Dusra and punished by Collingwood. Just helping the ball on its way. The cook to get to three figures. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Yes, timing, placement again. Good work. Michael Van Dort on the deep cover. Oh, a bit of a mix up there, but in the end, the two England boys get home. But Michael Van Dort doing some good work. 74 overs got. Oh, Paul Collingwood getting it absolutely right. Aggression showed. Shot. Lovely shot. I think he'll get all four for it. He will indeed. And out at deep cover. Will not catch that and Paul Collingwood looked in good touch in support of now that one I think might have carried it goes for four a good shot that is it'll bring a couple half stopped and Collingwood might be thinking about three he is that's good running Excellent to England. <laughs> he's given him. Had a long thought and he's given Mr. Cook. Well, that's a big blow and it's a big blow for Sri Lanka. Bat involved? Or is it just going down? Oh, it's just going way down. Well, he certainly would be disappointed with that. Just look at that. That struck him. Maybe outside, outside, leg stamp, and then kept on going. So umpire Harper again um, making a bit of a blunder, but uh, Cook has to go. England 237 for four. So that was going down leg side. Mole, man, that really was an excellent delivery for a first ball. It's everything you don't want. It's very, very full. It's probably as quick as anything he's bowled today. And, uh, Sitha has got it right up. That's it. Melinda. Melinda goes up here. Look at this. What a ball to get first up. Not much you can do about that. It's quick. It's just moving a little bit away. And it hits middle and off. There's very little you can do that. Melinda. Two in two. So something. And that's beautifully played. On his legs, very strong in that area, but he's only just arrived at the crease. That'll boost. It's gone fine, he's worked that nicely. Four more to Paul Collingwood. Nicely opening the face of the bat for uh, maybe two or three runs. Uh, two. Hollywood. 
end of the over it's 258 for five and there it is excellent innings second against Sri Lanka made his debut at goal in 2003 Ooh, edgy, edgy, but enough bat on it to fly away and probably go through third, fourth slip, and there's no one there. No third man in place. Slightly edgy, but enough bat on it, and it flies away through Gully. Well, big appeal and has to go. Paul Collingwood has chosen to leave the wrong delivery. That's why he's so good, that's why he's so canny. Things being pushed across. And in comes the one that swings in. The only concern I'd have there is height. It's in line. But he has to go. Paul Collingwood. He's gone for 52. A big breakthrough. It's 269 for six. Ooh, that's close. That is close. Gone. Absolutely full and straight. Certainly not going over the top. Stuart Broad has been, Stuart Broad has gone. I think that was clearly going to hit the middle stump. That was plumb in front. Well, that's missing leg and missing off and hitting middle. Easy decision for the umpire. England in trouble. Stuart Broad has gone for two. 272 for seven. Aye. Super shot from Pryor. Just opens his shoulders here. And he finds a, a welcome boundary for England. To get more runs on the board. Steered away for four. Inside edge on this, or is it just pad? It was all the way for four. Inside. Well, he's managed to take some pace of the ball with that uh, dive. Very leisurely run, creating some confusion with the batsman. It's up in the air in the gap, though, and formally struck. Can then determine it is not out. That's the tucked away, and that uh, brings up the uh, 50 for Matt Pryor. Second uh, consecutive 50 for him. Got a half century up at Asgiri. Has he got it? He's done it. Well done. They moved the man from square, took him to sort of deep extra cover. A little bit of off stump length and Matt Pryor says okay Can't fit. that's a good shot I like the way Matt Pryor's played the time we're with him today well, he's not quite sure what to do with his field here and that's good because he's taking the game to the bowler he's not picking him great bowling needs a slip in there he just slipped, he dropped his pace again to 49. He'll look for two here. That's good running. Yeah. I think he's edged it. To to slip and in fact he has he has to walk off so Murley possibly doesn't enjoy bowling to left-handers but he's enjoyed bowling to Ryan Seibold on this occasion and of course the vigil is now over I think that was a brilliant ball from uh, Murley and Myla didn't took it cleanly though but I think he just managed to catch it catch it catch it again so Ryan Seibold goes an important effort from him 17 from look 81 balls faced England now 346 for eight long on is out uh, all the deep fielders are still positioned on the boundary 
So there's an easy single around, which is what Matt Pryor takes. Although, interesting enough, still interested in the two. In fact, very interested in the two, and Steve Harmison runs well. He just got a chance to, Harmison got a chance to face Murali. It's a chance, and he's gone. First ball. Tamara Silva taking, in the end, a relatively easy catch. So Steve Harmison comes and goes very, very quickly, trying to improvise. And all he manages to do is find the man on the fine sweep. Yeah, I think again that, that full toss, and he tried to sweep, but it was top edge. Goes to Tamara Silva as an easy catch. So Steve Harmison back in Test cricket, desperate to be in this 11, and he hasn't made an impact with the bat. Out first ball, England 350 for nine. Here we go, he's gone for the shot, he's gone for the big one, he feels he needs to get the boundaries, and all he's managed to do is top edge Murley. So Murley gets another five. 62 now for him in Test cricket. Incredible effort uh, to keep him out of the game. But Matt Pryor's effort will not go unnoticed by all those who support England. Fantastic effort, really. 79 runs for him. That was a douche try, then. Didn't hold off the, the shot, and it was the great inning from Matt Pryor. And he batted from very positive manner right throughout this. Who's from Candy? Slightly edgy, but nice way to get off the mark. I don't think he's going to quite get a boundary. He's not. The gap it's to the right. Good shot. That's his strength. He's the sweet driver of the ball, Upul Taranga. That is not. Again, you see the driving ability of Upul Taranga. Picks up another four with one of his favorite shots, the off drive. Edge, the man I was <laughs> think could be replaced by Steve Harmison has picked up a wicket. And it's a good catch. And Upul Taranga is finding out that what is his strength is also his weakness in test match cricket. Well, you call it Sanjay. Here. I just wonder whether the man coming in at Silly Mid off on the drive has had an effect. He's feeling for that. And Matt Pryor takes a good catch. Decided it was his. England have got the breakthrough. They needed something to happen. It's happened. Tharanga's gone for 10. It's 20 for 1. I think he's a very focused player, Sangakara. Gone. Oh, what a big wicket that is. Ryan Sidebottom. Don't bother just throwing the ball at him. He looks at the pitch. A wry smile from Sangakara. This is a big, big wicket for England. Sangakara is an absolutely prized wicket. Just moved enough and he just went at it. Good catch again. And uh, look at side bottom. He's going and he's got every reason to do that. Kumar Sangakara, the big wicket. He knows he's made a little mistake in fending at that delivery. Sangakara going for one. Sri Lanka 22 for two. Delicate. A bit of width off it. Michael Van Dor. Well, there's a, <laughs> a third run taken. Yep. Tucked away, may get four. He will indeed. Great balance. Gonna get four. Monty's gonna get round and cut it off. Up and over. A little bit of width offered, and Jai Wadina went for it and got a top edge over first slip. Good running. 50 comes up with that bit of running, it's 50 for two. Well, it's up and over, there's no third man, so 
quite at liberty to play that shot. End of the over, it's 50. That's a good shot. That is a great shot. And it was a little too fuller. And short legs and a slip to Montepanesa. And his punch right through the covers. That should be four. Just too short. He's punched that away through the covers again. He's a tall man, so he can get on top of the bounce. But he's hit that now well enough for another boundary. There were a few oohs and ahs uh, in the England camp out there. Gets away with that. No third man in the air for a long, long time. He's a wide delivery. Look for two. And it's an easy two. It's 94 for two. Might pick up three here. Might get four, it's slowed up. Oh no! Oh no, 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 boys! <laughs> Hundred on the board, Sri Lanka. Michael Van Bort moves on to 50, a measured 50. Through backward point, it's going to go all the way. Steve Armstrong won't get there. Runs for Michael Van Dort. Pleasant shot. Should be the first boundary. Pulled away. Don't see that too often from Van Dort. Taking that short ball on. Thick outside edge, no third man. Successive boundaries for Van Dort. And again, more measured this time. Opens the face and it's a very low bounce. Mahela Jarwarden has welcoming him into the attack with a beautiful four through extra cover. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mahela enjoys batting here at the SSC, SSC and he continues to do so. Another half century for him. Mahela is 31st, just 50, and he has been in good. And he's had a one or two of those slices of luck down the third man. 137 for two. He just bowled a short one for Mahila. That was too short for him. And he just cuts it away to deep cover for four runs. Well, another shot down the third man. This time, aerial but only one slip in place. That's the area he should ball. And Simon's just back into the attack. He's just bowled six balls and he's just running again. You can't stop him. And he does well too. Stopping an extra run. So three more for Mahela Jarwood. The 150's up. The closer to the batsman would not have been enough. That's a glorious shot. A big stride forward. A nice timing on that one. 161 for two. Another boundary to Sri Lanka. That's a loose delivery though from Panesa. Easily put away by Jay Wardana. So consecutive. Bit of swing in. Well played by Mahela. 
Ravi Bopara has had a long run from mid-wicket to get there. Three more runs to Sri Lanka. That's a good shot. Is he going to get through? Yes, it does. He's thrown that one up, invited the drive. And said thank you very much. He moved. That's worked into the onside. Has he worked it well enough? He has. That is a beautiful piece of timing. Two away. And that could well be it. It is going to be it, I'm sure. He's put it in the gap, so Michael Van Dort goes to three figures. He celebrates, his teammate celebrates. And a good round of applause. Richly deserved from all the spectators here. Just wide of the man at mid-on. Hasn't got hold of it. Probably got enough back there to get to the boundary. It does. Oh, what a super shot this is. A lot of style. He's a job. But there's just enough going on, isn't there? There's something happening out there, and you feel that the breakthrough might not be far away. But in between, he's going at the best part of four and over. Oh! Two hundred partnership comes up. 203 runs now from 394 deliveries. It's gone. How far has it gone? I think it went that high. I lost it. But it's gone. Is it that well? It's not that short, but uh, that's what happens when you get yourself in and you've been out there a long time. You pick up the length quickly. He's given it. Going across the stumps, the swing. England go up. They felt confident. Has Michael Van Dort gone too far across the stumps? Yeah, once again, side bottom. Just ball in the right areas, going and hitting the leg stump. And it was very well bowling. And he works hard on this game. I always see him. He just gives his 100% all the time here. Whenever he got the ball, if you see him bowling, Michael Van Dort leaves the field. He's gone for 138. It's 249 for three. Yeah. Driven. Driven well enough. Should get three for it. That would make him a better bowler. That's more like another good delivery. He's going to get two runs here. Side bottom will prevent the boundary, but not the 100. <laughs> 20th Test Match 100 for Mahela Jayawardhanam. And it's an innings that's come under pressure. Now then, that's a milestone for Mahela Jayawardhanam. That's the record, another special time for Sri Lanka. In that uh, long spell so far. Just brushed away down the leg side. Chair Warden just marches on. Well, it's up and over, and it's under enough control. For a moment, a brief moment, Steve Harmison thought he'd got his man. Should have another look at that, but uh, meanwhile, Mahala Jayawardhan has uh, trotted across, got a single, hit it down to long off. Yeah. Oh, well, that's so skillful. It really is skillful batting. He tried the reverse sweep to get the ball to that particular area, the ball before. And this time, he's just opened the face. 
And it brings the 300 up for Sri Lanka. And it also brings up another milestone for Mahela Jawarden. 2,000 runs here at the SSC ground. Quite incredible achievement. Oh, well, it doesn't come much better than that. Straight down the ground. There's a massive gap there. No one at mid on. And it will slowly trickle to the boundary. What a shot. I'm wondering if Steve Harmison to pitch it up a bit more, but not quite that full, Steve. And it was dealt with. Beautiful shot. Could be tight. Oh, it might have been. Vaughan having a go at it, but that brings up 7,000 runs from the Hayley Jar Wardner, the first Sri Lankan batsman to achieve. Well, he's played that in the air. In the end, uh, got to say, a pretty good shot. Lots of risk, but that's how he plays. After play tonight and reflects. There's still a way to go yet, yeah? and there's still some more runs to be had. And there's six of them to be added right now. Well, it gets better and better and better. Well, classy play. feel that yes Kevin Peterson into the attack and there is some spin there but they're picking him off gone that's a rarity it's a wicket for England for the toiling Steve Harmison it should do him a world of good the Harmison perhaps that we know short bounce he gets a wicket at last effort this time of the day Gets bigger than the batsman's expecting, still they thought he could play that. All he could do was fend it off. And Steve Armisen, look at that. It means a lot to him. He gets the wicket, he gets the breakthrough. Samara Silva has gone, he's gone for 49. It's 377 for four. That's a nice shot. That'll start ball rolling for Sri Lanka. Is he going to get there, Monty? I don't think he is. Oh, he might just have done the ref. I'm sure the match officials want to have a quick look at that. Beautiful shot down the ground. Monty needn't chase that. No, that's always winning the race. Long chase again. Monty's not going to get there. Four more. End of the over. 3.94 for four. Test cricket. Well, what a delivery. And well play that. And he hasn't managed to keep the ball down. Excellent planning by England. Excellent bowling by Steve Harmison. Once again, he just banging short. And Mubarak couldn't get the hands and the bat away from the ball. And it was easy catch to Ian Bell. That was brilliant planning and brilliant bowling, Nick. It was indeed. Barak fails to get another 50, just gets nine today. Sri Lanka 399 for five. Thanks. And straight away off the mark. That's why it's been a tough initiation for him. I don't know if it's going to go all the way. I think it probably is. It will another boundary for Mahela Jaya Wardena. Well, he's gone across the line. Even his slog looks pretty stylish, isn't it? Certainly does, and it seems to be very much in control. Oops, he's completely missed time. He's going to be out. Caught comfortably by the first slip, trying to repeat the slog of the last over. Panessa gets his first wicket. He's happy. Turn a little bit more than what Jawadna expected. 
completely miscuing it and a very simple catch. But a fine innings coming to an end. Shawardana departs Sri Lanka, six down for 420. And goes for the bouncer. This could be out. Well, the players are celebrating. Vaz stood his ground, waited for the umpire to raise his finger, who has done exactly that. But this time, dug it in short. Sort of uh, took Chami Dubas by surprise. The ball really didn't come on to him. And uh, in the end, uh, just giving an easy catch in the slip region. So Chami Dubas, he goes caught by Bell. 4.25 for 7. Great four overthrows. I do. I know that players nowadays they like to throw the ball around. I'd be going ballistic if I was the bowler. Oh. Two side edge again that goes down. Evades the fielders in that slip, Gordon. Two slips in there. Oh, that was a full toss. A gift, in fact. Four runs. Just put away. Yeah! Is it an inside edge? Yes, there is. I'm sure it's given out as LBW. I'm thinking about an inside edge and caught short in on the offside. He's been given out LBW. Tail end is uh, shot with the back foot going behind. The ball hitting him right in the center low down and there was no doubt in the mind of umpire so uh plus it marlinga he departs sri lanka 458 he swung away what a great shot that is against the spin no field at strike well he's got that one down to third man steve hummerson was where third man just couldn't get there in well, he just decides to come a little closer to the middle side and has been dispatched for a good shot on the onside. Well, he's played that well. He's cleared the field. There are three men deep on the leg side. Oh, great delivery. What happened there? Was it the outside edge? Yes, it was. For a moment, I thought it the off stump. And when... That's a good shot. That's split the field. Very well played. Very, very well played. Yeah. Excellent 50. And he really is taking his opportunity. Paper. Well, he's hit it hard. Peterson tries to get a boot on it, but it'll fly away straight down the ground for four I think we're just yeah. well, sliced away and I think he's gonna get a boundary for it yes he is and the pitch beautiful shot making a real name for himself oh. deft little shot down to third man will look for two and come back for two Caps that certainly open up. The milestone that Panasai doesn't want, that's 150 against his name. Well, 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 well. I think it was too far away for Matt Pryor, but it needed a dive from the wicketkeeper. Runs that almost become a secondary issue as far as the England team are concerned. They're quite clearly not as far as Sri Lanka because they're piling them on. And out. Steve Harmison has been tireless all day. He's worked incredibly hard and he's got another wicket. Three wickets for Steve Harmison. And I think that's it. It is indeed. Mahela Jaya Wardner has had enough. He's saying he's got plenty now.
on the board, lead of nearly 200, 197. And a really big moment for Steve Harmison. So he's toiled away hard, he's got the bounce, and he gets enough bounce to get the edge. And Darwadina just gets enough thin edge on it. Yes, once again, the short pick delivery uh, providing the wicket, deservedly so. Efforts, Prasanna Jawadhan of fine innings of 79, caught by Price, Sri Lanka 548 for 9, and the declaration has been uh, brought about. Good timing. I think it's going to be cut off, it will, by Lassif Malinga, but two more runs to Alistair Cook and to England. After one over, England fourth. Last four. Went for the Yorker. Just a little leg side and helped on its way. Well, probably not quite where he intended. Played with soft hands, so it went down. We'll pick up three runs, uh, comfortable three runs. It's going away and away, and one ball it comes in. No ball was the call there. I think it gets round well, but he can't cut off the two. So, two off the bat, and then up. That's nicely played, that is four. Full face of the bat, down the ground. Well, certainly a lot better than it was. And that's nicely timed. No one's chasing that, that's four more. to the York comfortably played he might just come back for the second once again you see the Sri Lankan faster bowlers using the Yorker quite a lot punch that away strongly and firmly enough to pick that gap it's a very good it's come round the wicket to Cook and a juicy full toss dispatched for four. Eight runs. The field is set back there. It's a no ball to start at deep backward square leg and the deep fine leg for that short ball from Lassith Malinga. Created a little bit of rough possibly for him. Going over the wicket, slightly edgy, and we'll get four. Time that, time the pants off it, boundary for Michael Vaughan, 58 without loss. There he goes again four more identical shot from the previous over clipped away four more here well, it's an incredible shot really and it, and it really just explains and shows the sort of state of mind that Michael Vaughan's in it really had no good shot cracking shot well, no swing for Jamin Navas, and lined up. Same shot. Outfield is quick enough, it's a chase. Might just get there. Ball wins. Seven. And that's Michael Vaughan's 50, his second of the match. So a bit of a wild throw. Michael Vaughan hasn't noticed that. Then we've got the second. Well, I'm not sure that was intended. I think that's a slower ball. Roll the fingers over it. Michael Vaughan didn't pick it, but he's got away with it. And that brings the 100 partnership up. And that's an interesting little stat there. Second. 
the air, but he's timed it quite nicely. Malinga is quick, so he might just get there. Three more runs to England. How close was this? Sling injections by uh, Sanat. This time it's a normal grip. It's an off-cutter and driven straight back to the bowler. Dilhara Fernando has struck. This is a good wicket. He could just start to worry England a little bit. Michael Vaughan is the man walking back, so that is quite a blow here for England. Definitely. And all those slower deliveries, the cutters that he's bowled this morning have helped again. He changes the grip at the last moment and uh, just cuts it a little bit and uh, gets a simple return catch right to the waist. Michael Vaughan pushing at it, not getting his feet into position. So the England captain goes for 61 well-made runs and England now 107 for one. Oh, good shot. That's been the feature of Ian Bell's batting in this series. He's looked good every time he's batted. Have uh, play interrupted. Nicely played. In fact, this is a very good shot. It's a, a fine glance of a slow delivery. Just Beautifully timed. Van Dodd might get there. He does. It's a long way down, isn't it, for him? Did a good job in the end, but a good shot. That's nicely played off the back foot. Just a little short. Punched to the offside. And, uh, Pass it. And on nicely. Good footwork from Ian Bell and good placement. And brings him a boundary down to the third man. It's 131 for one. England scoring boundaries early on. Yeah. Off cutter again. Nice to cook another 50. 134 for one. That's the one that you wait for from a part-timer who doesn't bowl. Just sit in, a little bit patient, wait for that inevitable bad ball. There's that short ball. Wait for it, wait for it. The class player, Cook, in this instance, just punches it away to the boundary. Let's bring in three. 148 for one. Drives again, handsomely down the ground. Over the top of Malinga at mid-on. And England finish a very good session with the boundary to Ian Bell. It's 152. and gone I was just going to question this bowler great move Mahela J Wardener it's his first test wicket it's his first ball Chamara Silva into his fourth over got rid of Cook yes Cook who's been going well gets an outside edge perhaps he may have uh, gone too far playing that one because it was well wide of off stump didn't spin back, just uh, slipped through straight, caught the outside edge. So after a good innings, uh, second half century in the match for Alistair Cook, he goes for 62, and England now 152 for two. Super shot, Ian Bell once again. There's that shot again, he's played it so well. That chase for Dilhara Fernando. Settled for two again. Given notice by the captain. And that'll be a four, poor delivery to end the 55th over. It's 178 for two. All much as possible to get the catch from Mahela. Use of the feet. Increasing confidence from Kevin Peterson and pretty poor fielding in the end from Lassif Malinga. Makes a real mess of it, really. <laughs> Runs and four of them. Going for the full and straight delivery, and Peterson gets a rare gift, really, a full toss going down leg side. 
And that's 50 more runs for Ian Bell. Struggled in the first innings here. Really got stuck against Murley's, but he's gone away and had a little think about it. And he's come out with a really good game plan. It's working. Quickly picked up. Pounced on it, really. 202 for two. Patch marks outside the off stump of the right hander that he's been eyeing up. And Ian Bell's decided he's going to use his feet. And he's paid the price for it, as he did in the first innings, where he played so well down in Candy. And he's found Michael Van Dort out in the deep. That he just wanted to hit through the mid wicket region and didn't quite hit in the bat. And it was a very good catch from Michael Van Dort. So England may lead now by seven runs, but they've just lost their third wicket. Ian Bell has gone. Well made, 54, but England tottering now. 204 for three. Foot chopped away. And Malinga still struggling in the field. He's not been at his best today, Lassif Malinga, in the field. And England have run very, very well there to get three. Uh, it's through this time, and it's going to go all the way. He's got enough of that one. So it's a risk and reward blindness. Take the risk. It's got away, that'll go all the way. Four there. Four to Colling. And I think that's going to go all the way. Yes, indeed. That was short again, and this time punched away on the offside. Got his hands to it first, but then uh, dragged it back over the ropes. Well, that tends to happen with a part-time bowler. From time to time, he'll get it wrong. Collingwood punishes him. England were delighted to see that the ground staff suddenly started to scurry around for the covers and wisely because in no time at all it was absolutely pouring with rain and it didn't stop either which meant that it wasn't too long before the umpires gave England the news they wanted to hear that the match was abandoned as a draw which was all a bit of an anti-climax really but it suited England of course down to the ground as it meant they'd saved the game and they can now still tie the series if they win next week in the third...